Hello, on this video I'm going to talk a little bit about CSS. So CSS describes how your page is going to look like. And you can create one CSS file and apply it throughout your entire website. So let's create a project. And then I'm going to create a page. I'm going to delete the form. And now I'm going to create a couple of div. So all I have here is four divs. That's all. And then say here I'm gonna say welcome to my page navigation. I'm just gonna put a very simple menu. Um, home sales and cool stuff. My navigation is some cool text here. And usually on the footer you have copyrights, contacts, contacts and something else. So a very simple web page, nothing complicated right here. And let's run this page. And here is what we have. So everything is there, but it doesn't look very cool for now. So now let's add a CSS and make this page look cool. So I'm going to create a folder. And I'm going to call it CSS. And then inside this folder, I'm going to right click and add new item, a style sheet. Click Add. And now I'm going to add some selectors and declaration for our CSS. The selectors will be the name of the div of your page. So here I have top the navigation, main, and footer. So my first selection is going to be top. My second selector is going to be navigation. The second one main, and then footer. These are the selectors. And these guys, the selector, selects the div of your page. So now let's add the CSS to this page. I'm going to drag and drop the CSS in between the head tags. So now I'm going to run the website, but nothing really is going to happen because we don't really have anything. At this point, I usually have this page on a second monitor and then I'm coding in another monitor. But because I'm recording this page, I'm going to leave it right here on the side. So the top, I want to have a background color and I want to put forest green only so I can see, but then later you can come here and change to something else. And if you notice right here on the right, you already changed, even without me having to actually save it. Now I want to color 
to be white. Text align, I like it center. And let's leave it like that. So for, nav for the navigation, I want a background color to be well Indian red. And then my height I want it to be auto. And then float. I want this guy to be left. That's it for the navigation. For the main, I want the width to be, let's try a thousand pixels. And the background color, I'm going to put some color here just to know where that thing is. And float. I want also to be left. And on the footer, I want this. Let's put a background color forest green, just like the top. How about a um, text align center? And the color I want white as well. Not wheat, white. And then I want a clear. And on the main, let's delete the left. There it is. Cool. So now we have something like this. And then you can start changing. Um, the color and the formats of these things. So for the main, I'm going to delete the background color and also the float left. For the navigation, I'll change this color for something a lot clear, maybe gray. Or is it a light gray? Light gray. Yep, there it is. And the width, I'm going to increase a little bit to 100. And one cool thing that I like to do that belongs to CSS3 is to put the border radio, border radius, and I'm going to put 4 pixel. For pixel, and what that does, it makes the corners a little round. So I kind of like that. I'm gonna do the same thing on my navigation, and the same thing on my footer. And that's it. So it's quite simple. You can start playing with the heights of everything here. Let's play with the heights of the heights about heights the five hundred pixel. Maybe it was a little too much. But anyway, so the whole point here is that you can start playing with these values here and then your page is gonna start changing. So let's take a look on this page without the CSS. And now let's put the CSS. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. This is easy and you can do it.